Jarvis of Canada in the red. Urbaneja of Venezuela in the blue. All right, still nothing going here in the first period. And 30 seconds in. In, in Greco-Roman, you, you see it almost automatically right before the one minute mark. Freestyle, it, it doesn't seem to be so uh, locked in. And earlier on that. Earlier on, on Matt B, we saw, I saw several times, wrestler about to get called for passive, spin behind for the takedown. One of the things with allowing the, the Matt Judge and the Chairman to confirm. Confirmation now, against Blue Urbaneja. So on the shot clock, Urban A has 30 seconds to create that scoring action. Halfway through here. Urban A trying to work on Jarvis's elbow. Jarvis fighting out of it. And that'll do it for the shot clock. Caution against Urbaneja, one point for Jarvis. Takes the 1-0 lead, 137 into the match. Talked about the, yesterday there were several women qualified from the world championships. Only two men's weight classes have been qualified by Pan Am countries. That being uh, the United States at 74-97 with the world titles from Jordan Burroughs and Kyle Snyder. Jarvis from Canada driving in on that high single. He's looking to become the first qualifier here from the Pan Am Olympic qualifier. And it'll be just the third from the Pan Am Nations. And I know they have Hazlan Garcia, their 65 kilo, also sitting in the semifinals. Passivity against Jarvis is gonna get confirmation from the judge on the far side. That's unlikely we're gonna see Jarvis go on the shot clock though, as we're, and we are now under 30 seconds, so we're gonna have to wait. Body lock though for Jarvis. Great management, mat management by Urban AI. Started to get close to the zone, realized where he was at, held position, still fighting that hook, and he gets cleared out by the official. The action starts back in the center. Just 13 seconds remaining on the restart. Straight on attack by Jarvis. Caught by Urban Neha. And at the break, 1-0 for the Canadian. We saw passivities go against Urban Neha early. You start to see him come back the other way. You rarely see a guy go on two shot clocks and unless it's very obvious that He's the attacking wrestler and hold position in the mat. You gotta think right away into period number two. Look for activity out of Jarvis. If he's not very active and, and holding the center of the mat, you gotta think a passivity will come his way. He'll get his opportunity on the shot clock. Not that a shot clock is really an opportunity. I have seen it capitalized on several times today though. More than you normally see out of the men's freestyle. And Jarvis's teammate on the female side, Dory Yates, yesterday did a great job of that, staying patient. She was put on the shot clock in each one of her matches. Came away with points every single time. Jarvis, like you were saying, working quick. Go, body. Body lock. Fall is asked for. Fall is confirmed. Corey Jarvis of Canada, Olympic Games qualifier. Body lock. Feet to back, 
Urbaneja went double overs, attempted to take him over the top. Archdu not able to take Jarvis Elper over the top. How excited is Corey Jarvis to be qualified for the Olympic Games? Jarvis, the fifth member of this Canadian national team this weekend. He is still jumping. He is ready to go. Big